Hi, I'm Scott Newton, the CEO of Audio Advice. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a full Bowers & Wilkins home theater from original design through full installation. First, I wanna show you what this room looked like before we started so you can see the full transformation. These homeowners had just moved into a new home and wanted to convert their current bonus room into a family-friendly multimedia room for watching sports, movies, and playing video games with their kids. They started by laying out their room in our free home theater design tool at audiovice.com. They input the room dimensions of 16 feet by 17 feet by 9 feet, then chose one row of four theater chairs, they then worked one-on-one -on -one with our system designer to decide between a 16 by 9 screen versus a wider 2.4 screen, ultimately landing on a 124-inch 2.4 Stewart film screen with a 1.3 gain, which is perfect for this room. The homeowners were set on using in-wall and in sewing speakers to both maintain the clean look of the room and to keep their speakers out of the way of their kids at play. They went with a great Bowers & Wilkins 5.2.4 system. We have a full video and review linked in the description covering the entire BMW in-wall and in-ceiling lineup to help customers choose the right combination of speakers for their desired performance and aesthetics. For the left, center, and right speakers, we had to be mindful of the doors on each side of the room. So we went with the BMW CWM 7.4 S2 due to their slim profile with great performance. BMW ASW 610s were chosen for their compact size with one at the front left and one at the right rear of the room so they could provide tight, even bass response for all seating positions. A Marantz SR6015 receiver was chosen to provide high performance audio and allows them to take advantage of Dolby Atmos in every major surround format for gaming as well as watching TV and movies. The Marantz has 8K pass-through, so it future-proofs the customer for future 8K sources. Because the room is almost square at 16 feet by 17 feet, a combination of Vicoustics Wavewood Ultra and Cinema Round Panels were included to reduce echo and really enhance the soundstage. Okay, so we're in the middle of the installation right now, and one of the first things our guys had to do was to find out how we're gonna get the internet from here upstairs to where the Roku is, in the PlayStation, in the Control 4 system, in the theater. Joseph, is this all of the speaker cable for everything? Yes, sir. It's fully pulled, okay. And so, in this rack, you got what, a uh, Xbox? Uh, Xbox, a Roku, uh, we got the Watt Box, uh, a network switch. This is the one that was probably the most challenging. You got your speaker cable all pulled through. And, but one of the problems was we needed to get a full wired internet up here as opposed to wireless. Tell us exactly what you had to do. Uh, first, I had to open up the plate and then try to tone out what cable kind of goes where at that yep. point. Um, once I found where it went, uh, it was pretty simple from that point on. Okay, so what you ended up doing was you found a cable that went to the master. You were able to then bring the master, splice it into this, and bring in full internet up into this rack room. Yes, sir. All right, well, so you guys have done pretty much all of the wall speakers now, and we're down to the last side surround speaker. So just walk us through, you know, we want to take a BMW speaker and install it in the wall, and just walk us through what we do. Yeah, so we use the audio device um, measuring tool uh, for theaters, and the last thing we have to do is just draw this speaker, um, which we, here we have the template and already through the ceiling, we already have the cable on a glue rod. So all we're really gonna do is just measure the wall, measure the distance of how we want. So we have the other side the same as this one, draw it and then cut it out. If you're going to install your own system, you can check out our how-to video in installing in-wall and in-selling speakers in the description. All right, hey everybody. We're finally done with this great BMW Moran's Theater. Let's go take a look, come on. Okay. You can see here, we've now got our revolution chairs 
which is the number one selling chair. We've got an audio device, dual motor sitting here. The room has been totally painted since we first started it. And by now, you should have seen that we've already done the uh, original home theater design tool design of it and the full 3D rendering for the homeowner. And obviously it's turned out incredible. So let's just walk around and take a look at what we've got. Revolution chairs here. This is our Vicoustics acoustic paneling that we've done. So we've got both absorptive panels as well as diffusers. If you look right here, we actually have uh, full dimming capability using control four. So we can dim and control the lighting in the room and control both the front row and the back row separately. So we can keep the lights off of the screen. So if you come back a little bit farther here, I'll show you. We've got the Epson 6050 projector in here. Now, one of the reasons this projector works so well in this implementation is this is a family and it's gonna get used a lot. They also have windows in the back room and there are times that they want the windows totally open, which means you need brightness. This projector has over 2,500 lumens and it has an extra spare bulb that comes with it. So you can literally get six, 7,000 or more hours on these combined bulbs and the kids can play Xbox all the time, bring in Super Bowl with the parents and just have a blast. So if you keep coming around, I'll show you, this is where we've got a subwoofer in the back. One of the decisions that was made in the original design of this was to do two subwoofers because the vision is one day they're likely gonna add a riser and another row back here. And they wanted to have even base distribution throughout the room. So by putting one up in the front left and one in the back right, we actually energize the room with base. And then we use the Odyssey calibration capability on the Marantz to cut off the peaks so that the base is relatively smooth across as many seats as possible. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the Revolution seats that are here. The Revolution actually came from an original chair that was called the Evolution. It was the top selling chair we had nationwide at Audio Advice. And um, I actually looked at it and said, there's three things I'd like to make better. Went to the manufacturer, we worked on them and updated it. And this is what it is now. And of course, it's an incredible chair. So the first things you should see is, obviously you have motorized control to bring up the leg, lean it back. But what's also really cool is the way this headrest comes out, um, it comes out diagonally. So no matter how tall you are, you could be five foot six or you're six foot two, this thing comes out diagonally. And as you lay back the chair, it sort of gets in the perfect position so that you can either relax farther back or be your head held a little bit more up to watch the television. So the next thing in it is it actually has memory buttons. So there's a memory one, memory two. So you can set the position that you like, for instance, watching a movie or one that you really want to be more engaged, for instance, playing an Xbox or something else. And then we actually have lights that are in them. You probably can't see it when I hit the first button because we've got them dimmed down. And so the, you hit the light button, it lights up the cup holder and a little bit on the floor when it's dark in the room and you can change the level. So if it's totally dark, you want the dim level really low so it doesn't get on the screen. If there's a lot of light in the room, you turn it up a little bit more. The other cool thing about this chair is we actually have uh, a tray table and it's a really premium tray table that's got an indentation for your drink and sort of a tough matte finish so your food doesn't slide off of it. And it comes with every single chair. So it sits here, rolls around, um, and then pops back in if you don't want it. The final thing for families that have kids that you'll love is what we call the crumb catcher. And that's a little piece in here so that if you've got crumbs or popcorn that falls, all you have to do is vacuum it right there and it doesn't fall under the chair itself, the Revolution chair. So we've got three main speakers up front and they are the BMW 7.4 S2s. These are just terrific in-wall speakers and you saw us putting them in earlier. We've got them just to the side of the screen here on the right and in the center here, and they're custom painted. If you wanna learn how to do this yourself, you take a look and we'll put it in the description. We show you how to custom paint grills so that you can match up in the room really well. The other thing that we have is if you look, we've now got the um, side speakers back here, fully custom painted as well. These are the custom wall mount 663s and so you saw us put them in it's got the kevlar driver and then if you look up to the ceiling here we've got the atmos speakers these are the uh, obviously circular again custom painted for this room these are the custom ceiling mount 683s and so the room just rocks all right, so let's just take a quick look at the rack itself. You saw where we brought in all the wires from behind. We cleaned it up, put the rack in, it looks beautiful. Okay, so in the universal remote control, we're actually using control four here, which gives us the ability to choose what we wanna watch. It automatically controls it all from the same remote. And then we've got lighting scenes you can see here. If we push this button, it'll go all off, there for all on, intermission, a movie setting, and a TV setting. So just as an example, if we switch into the TV setting, you'll see it dimmed down. If I go into the movie setting, 
all the way down, and then I can bring them back up with one touch and press of a button. Okay, so one of the great things about the design of this room and using the Epson projector is that we've got lens memory on the Epson. Now, what does that mean? What it means is that we can take a widescreen that you see here that's a 2.4 aspect ratio. I mean, it's movie aspect ratio. It's wider than what you'd see in a typical television. And we can hit one button on the remote and it zooms the projector so that you actually see a full widescreen movie. In this case, you'd see Ready Player One. But if I leave that and I go back to a normal uh, Roku screen, I can actually change the position of it and it's gonna take me back to a 16 by nine picture. The advantage of going back to 16 by nine is that if I watch sports or I watch news or anything else, it will actually be in the correct aspect ratio. One of the other cool things I wanna mention in this room, if you go to one of the videos we made, which was uh, best practices for home theater design, I talk about getting the colors right in the room. In other words, you don't want white walls and bounce around the light. You want the brightness on the screen itself. And then we installed DMF lights in here. DMF are high-end lights that allow us to bring up a lot of brightness in the room, but they actually have a tight beam so that we're not putting the light on the screen. And we actually can control the front lights separately from the back lights. So when we bring the back lights up, you can see things back here without messing up the view of the screen and keep the uh, front lights down while you're watching a movie, but you might bring them up during the Super Bowl or when you're cleaning the room. One of the cool things about the Morantz receiver is it's got Odyssey built in and that's the calibration software. You can see here I've got the mic at about ear level. Uh, obviously I've got a little more expensive sort of setup for it, but essentially it walks you through putting an ear level in multiple locations. It listens to all the frequencies in the room coming from the speakers and then calibrates those. One pro tip I wanna give you, I see a lot of times do-it-yourselfers that will look and see that the distance of the sub comes back longer from their calibration system than they know it is and then they'll actually drop the distance down. Most of the time the calibration software is right. If you see the calibration software come back and tell you that your sub is maybe four or five feet further than it is, let it sit. And the reason is it's adjusting for the fact that there's a DSP running in the subwoofer that's slowing the signal down a little bit. And by showing it being a little bit further away, it's actually getting everything time aligned in your room. And it worked perfectly in this room with incredible bass distribution and great sound. here with Aaron today. We just delivered a home theater for you guys. You all went with the Epson projector and just give us a sense of, you know, why'd you go with the Epson? Well, the Epson had a very good bulb life. We have two windows in the back of the, uh, of the theater room that we were worried about glare on the screen, but having that brighter uh, projection coming at the screen, we don't have to worry about that so much. The other thing with it, you know, we watch a lot of stuff on Netflix, like I said. You know, you go between the movies and you go between the TV shows, and you guys had let us know about this at Audio Advice. Um, it has the feature we can do the letterbox, or we can go back to the more uh, traditional TV screen uh, to watch these other shows. So, I mean, it's it's just a it's a great bundle. It's a great package deal. Yeah, that's right. That. Uh lens memory allowing it to zoom has turned out to be pretty cool for you all because you've got kids that want to watch stuff on Xbox and you put it in the 16 by 9 him one button where we program for you all to all the way out to 2.4 absolutely you can I mean you can't beat that well look I want to thank you for letting us work with you all on this beautiful theater it's just been a pleasure working with you all the theater's terrific and I hope you guys just enjoy it and have a blast with it we will absolutely Thanks. appreciate it Aaron at Audio Advice, we've been designing and installing high-performance home theaters and smart home systems for decades. We just love this stuff. If you're considering building a home theater or updating your current one, I encourage you to jump over to our home theater page at audioadvice.com, where you'll find our free home theater design tool, buyer's guides, how-to, and installation videos, along with a full inspiration gallery. If you have questions or want to design your dream theater, give us a call or stop by one of our award-winning showrooms. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to get our latest videos on home theater and audio gear and installations like this one. We've also got full YouTube playlists on home theater designs, installations, product reviews, and everything home theater and audio related. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.